and we are sending it again fairly happy with the way that's cruising we could dial that in better but honestly I don't see a whole lot of point in it so we're gonna watch this EMP it went off the warhead went off the EMP actually did affect the ship it has an active stabilization system in it because of the weight of the guns and whatnot so be able to tell just by the way it's listing the hair tipping right over that the EMP actually hit it pretty hard so the next thing we need to do is we're gonna turn our speed up and for right now we don't care about direct hits on it we just want to ensure that everything is working correctly so we're moving much faster we're dialing in on the depth still no problem so we may have actually ignited the warhead slightly late EMP is still good in order to fix that we just change this capacitor charge time down a little bit now I was talking earlier we don't want this thing to accidentally go off on a vehicle just because their sonar has maybe targeted so let's say you're in a submarine and you target something in front of you that maybe is the other another torpedo you're launching um, it'll just go off on you so we don't want that so we're gonna put an and in here and we're going to hook everything, these two things, up to the and. And all we're going to do is hook this to the launch button. So now the launch button has to be pressed. And the same thing still applies down here. So nothing changes as far as that goes. Update it. And... Let's hit it. Let me just make sure it works one time here before we start adjusting everything else. So we locked on. Okay, that was definitely a hit. We we're directly under it when it went off. So um, now we want to do impact it, right? So we're going to do this. We're going to set our cruising depth to 1.5 meters. That may be a little bit shallow because of the size, so we'll just go to 2. It's turning quickly and it's staying very stable. direct hit the only problem with this torpedo hitting the ship like this is that the ship itself is so much longer than uh, 40 meters so it's I don't know a hundred meter ship or something that it is actually not able to get that close so we'll just put it to 50 so it's hitting the end of the ship before it can get within 50 meters of the center of the target, which is what the radar actually locks onto. Um, which for more, no, most normal vehicles, that's probably going to be just fine. Um, we just don't want things taking off too early here, so we'll launch it one more time. EMP has a decent range, so um, should be okay. That, that was a pretty good hit there, so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the ship and get it moving and see if we can hit a moving target. So let's do that. Okay, we got our destroyer cooking along here. It's making a turn. We're going to fire our missile. We'll wait for it to get close to perpendicular traveling, which it should be by the time we get there, just so we can 
Make sure we can track the moving target. Damage is on. Tab out so we can see what we're doing. We're dialed right in at two meters. I'm happy with that. And we've locked on. Jump off of this one. And inspect the amount of damage we did to this boat. So we do have a fire. And I think that's because that's in the fuel and the engine area. And we've obviously water lined it with a pretty big hole. If this was a normal size vehicle, then you'd be seeing huge amounts of damage to it in comparison to the size of the vehicle. And you can see the engines are not running. It's running straight on battery power. And we've knocked the doors open, apparently. So knocked the doors clean off the hinges. So let's bring in a smaller vehicle and see what we can do with that. All right, so off in the distance, around two kilometers out, we have a medium-sized patrol boat just doing circles, which should sort of imitate an evasive maneuver. So we're going to see if we can hit this thing. Let's see if it sees it. It may be out of field of view. Nope, it hit it. It caught it anyway. Let's see if it hits it. That was a absolutely direct hit. Oh, we're going to go over here and check the damage. We can get on the thing. Okay. And we've broken the guns because of the EMP. And check our EMP. We are electric at zero on here. So let's look at the damage. And look at the size of the damage we did. That is insane. It actually had double damage because it launched, it blew up one of the torpedoes under the ship. So let's, uh, let's jump down here and look. The entire floor is blown up. It blew up the hallway, the stairs. That is a lot of damage. This boat will not last long like this, so I'm actually going to turn its pumps on and see how many torpedoes it takes for us to sink this thing. Um, turn on the pumps, and we're going to hit it again. Now right, we're going to hit it a little bit different angle this time, so we'll see what happens to it. And we buried right into it. Another pretty big hole. Now, one more thing we can do before we call this a video is we can actually try to turn our speed up on our rocket and see just how fast it goes. We may have to change some timing on the demolition of things, but we'll see what happens. It is really fast. And if we get it going too fast, we may not be able to lock on in time to actually hit anything, so. Oh, that was a good hit again. So as you can see, it's pretty well destructive regardless of uh, how fast it's going, so. All right, you guys, so that just about concludes this video. I just wanted to show you guys what the effects of the EMP are in a regular boat. Um, 
you can see the electrics just now coming back on I've probably been messing around for quite a little bit here a few minutes and there's no way you can pump out when an EMP hits you because you don't have any electricity so you can see the amount of water that's filled up in here we've also blown the gearbox up back here and it can't propel itself so it's a sitting duck and that's from the damage of the warhead so we can actually just repair that and then we'll be back to moving but um, I just wanted you guys to see the damage an EMP can actually do if you were to hit with multiple EMPs you know spaced out in time um, the amount of damage that you could potentially do would be insane uh, just because they wouldn't be able to pump water out or if it was an airplane like a missile EMP obviously it's just gonna crash because it can't uh, control itself so anyway I hope you guys like this um, shoot me a comment if you liked it give me a like hit me with a sub whatever you want to do hit me with a dislike I don't care so uh, just let me know if you want me to be a little less detailed in the future builds if you want me to be a little more detailed um, obviously I did some testing prior to this video so I had most of my values worked out um, my torpedo wasn't exactly the same so I did have to do the PID tuning um, which I showed you guys um, so the only thing left to do on this thing is just to attach it to something and to send it into the side of an enemy so uh, maybe we'll save that for another video, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll try to edit it down to something where we can, uh, where it's not an hour long, basically. It took me an hour to finish this, start to finish one hour, so it's not that bad of a build. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.